This video right here was 100% AI generated. So let me show you just 30 seconds of it, and then I'll show you exactly how I made it. All right, so you've really been digging into all this generative AI stuff, and it is a lot, right? It feels like it's changing everything every time you turn around. It really is moving that fast. So we're doing a deep dive today yeah. on your stack of transcripts. Absolutely. And not just like the what, but like what does this actually mean for you listening? Right. So. First things first, before we even get to chat GPT or anything fun like that, okay. we got to tackle the acronyms. Of course. Because these transcripts, they're full of them, like LLMs. LLMs are large language models. Think of it this way. It's like the engine under the hood of most of this generative AI stuff you're so, seeing. So, like chat GPT, that's one of the big ones I keep seeing everywhere. Chat GPT is a great example. It's built on this foundation of LLMs. It's how it's able to generate text that sounds so human-like, like it's actually had a conversation, read a million books. It is pretty amazing. What it's doing is essentially predicting what word comes next based on this massive amount of data it's been trained on, like a library the size of the universe. So double-checking its work is probably a good idea. Wow, that that's just kind of insane because nothing you just saw was something that I put together. The script, AI wrote the script. The characters you saw, even me, that was a cloned version of me. That wasn't me, cloned my voice, it cloned what I look like. All that was created using a couple of different AI tools. So let me show you how I put it together because I was in the process of figuring out how to add a podcast to our mix of AI content. And I wanted to take a course that we just finished, an AI bootcamp course for beginners, and figure out a podcast version of it. And while I was trying to figure that out, Google has a product called Notebook LM and they introduced a brand new update that takes any text and turns it into a realistic podcast like you just heard. And then I used another AI tool, a free tier of another AI tool to create those AI avatars, including cloning myself. So let me show you how this works. This is called Notebook LM. I'll go ahead and link this below. I'm gonna create a new notebook here. And here you just gotta upload some sources. So they could be PDFs, they could be audio files, they could be things from your Google Drive. They even introduce links from websites and YouTube, or you could just copy and paste any text over here. So I just have a transcript from a couple of different videos from a course that I just finished on skillleap.ai. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload those. So here's the three different documents I have. This is an intro course to generative AI. And it's gonna, in a few seconds, create a summary over here. And this pops up right here, this notebook guide. You could use it to get all kinds of different things. So you could get a study guide from that or table of content. But this is the option I wanted to show you, deep conversation between two hosts. Okay, all you have to do is press generate right here. Okay, in a few seconds, it generated an eight minute podcast from just those three transcripts. I'll go ahead and play 30 seconds of it a little bit into this podcast. Had a conversation, read a million books. Right. It's kind of freaky how good it's getting. It, it is pretty amazing. What it's doing is essentially predicting what word comes next based on this massive amount of data it's been trained on, like a library the size of the universe. So it's not actually thinking. It just seems like it because it's so good at this word prediction thing. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. I mean, how real did that sound? That, that was just insane. And my transcript, by the way, was a lot more educational. This is a lot more conversational. This does, doesn't really sound like the information is from my transcript, but it totally changed the way it got that information across. And I just think this is unbelievable. Like this is so much better than someone sitting there telling you something where you could consume the same information in this kind of nice educational format. I mean, they both have their place. So I was trying to have the education side with the courses, have the YouTube content, and also have another format, which is podcast where two people are having a conversation and you could learn that way. But this is, okay, I, I, just, I just never been this speechless when I use an AI tool. But now let me show you the second part of this because you could just go ahead and download this right here, and this downloads it as a WAV file. So the podcast is good to go if you want to take it from here. But what I did after that is after I downloaded it, I just used an app to go ahead and transcribe it because right now I couldn't find a way, at least right now inside of Notebook LM, 
to get a transcription of this exact podcast, but there's plenty of free apps that quickly transcribe things for you. This app I'll show you as an optional step, but this app is called Descript and it's the preferred method for professional people that make podcasts to edit the podcast. So all you have to do is that audio file. Again, this is optional. I'm gonna show you the video side using another app. This is not what I did in mine. But if you wanted to just make edits to the audio, upload your audio here in a few seconds. And this is, again, has a totally free tier that should give you plenty of credits to do these type of things. It will automatically transcribe that audio file from Notebook LM. And if you want to edit anything, this is a text based editing platform. So if you edit the text that it automatically transcribed for you, it will make the edit in the audio file. And then you just pretty much go to the publish tab right here and export it as an audio file right here. And then you're ready to post it anywhere you want. This also works with video too. This is called Descript, but now let's move on to the AI avatar generator. And by the way, this video is brought to you by my own e-learning platform, skillleap.ai. So if you haven't checked this out before, we have entire courses on the top AI tools and the top AI techniques, specially designed for entrepreneurs, marketers, and creators. And for example, this one is a 71 video course on the ultimate guide to AI for beginners, which covers all the top 20 AI tools. But we release new courses about once a month on here, sometimes more frequently when there's new updates in AI. And we have an active community here where you could go ahead and ask us any questions. And anytime anything new comes up, we post about it here as well. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description, a free trial so you can make sure it's a good fit for you. Okay, now this AI platform that creates AI avatars, you could choose from a library of avatars. They just released a brand new version of it too. That's much, much better. And then you could also clone yourself. So if I go to the avatar tab right here, this is called Hey Gem, by the way, and I'll link this one below as well. And with the total free version of it, you get to actually access some of these for free and you get one instant avatar. That's how you could clone yourself. I have the paid upgrade that gives me three different versions of the instant avatar and even more AI avatars that I could choose from their library. Let me preview this one just to show you what it looks like. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Okay, so this is what your avatar is gonna look like and you could preview any one of them. I just ended up picking one from this list. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a video right on top and I'm gonna create avatar video. They also have video translations that has lip sync while retaining the speaker's original voice. This is kind of wild, but I'll cover this in a different video. Right now, I wanna create a landscape video. I'm gonna choose that option right here. And here, if you go to the script tab, you have a couple of different options. You could add a script and choose from one of these voices, but I really like the voice that Google made for me inside of Notebook LM. So I could go ahead and upload that file as well. So I could upload that WAV file that I had. Okay, so that's gonna become my audio instead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the avatar tab right over here. And I could choose one of the avatars. So I chose this lady this time. Let's choose this lady right here. Okay, now, it's gonna be this lady, but the voice is gonna be what I got out of Notebook LM, but they have their own AI voices, really good AI voices. So you could technically just use the script part. I just wanted to show you all the different options you had. Let me go ahead and press play. Now this is not gonna animate it just yet because you have to submit this for it to actually render this person to start reading what is down here, this audio. But right now, let me just press play so you could see what it sounds like. All right, so you've really been digging into all this generative AI stuff, and it is a lot, right? Okay, so this person is gonna sound exactly like this, and their lips is gonna move matching this audio file. Okay, so I did this for the first person, and then if I go back and I create a new project, this time, again, the same options I'm gonna choose, and this time I chose my own avatar. So if you go to the avatar tab, as long as you create an instant avatar, which requires you to just read two minutes of any content to camera, upload it, it creates an AI avatar for you. Very easy to do. This is now my AI avatar. And again, I could go ahead and add a script here, or I could go ahead and record something. Or in this case, again, I could upload that same file over here. And then again, I submitted this. So then I had one version of it where it was just a lady talking and another version of it where it was me responding from that notebook LM. And then I just had to put it together in a simple edit app. And this is the app I ended up using. It's called CapCut. It's a very basic and free editing app. So I just put my track on top right here on track two, the ladies on track one, and I just cut between 
her talking and then cut to me, my AI clone here and back and forth here. And this is a really nice app, by the way, for all kinds of different things. So for example, this has this auto caption option, which this one lets you caption the video with really high end looking caption and subtitles. So for example, if I go over here, like if I choose this one right here, you see it created this caption file with all kinds of emojis, all automated. I literally just pressed a couple of different buttons. And then over here under the text, I just chose this template. This one is part of a pro subscription. I think it's like 10 bucks a month, but they have a ton of free ones. You don't have to use a pro version. I just use this for some captioning. So I have the, I really like this one that has some like cool emojis <laughs> that go along with it. So it took a few different apps to do this right now, but literally Notebook LM took care of the podcasting part for us. I'm just taking it to a whole new level, creating a completely AI generated video using HeyGen. And I use a couple of different things to, you know, for transcription and things like that, that were totally extra. And as you can see, for someone like me, that's an educator and creator to get something this good, this quickly, I could have had an assistant do these steps for me, right? And pretty soon we're gonna have AI agents or one application that does all those things very quickly all on its own, right? It's taking some manual effort right now, but the finished product was all AI. I just connected a few dots. So in the near future, man, I just I just don't really know where this is gonna go, but I figured I, I figure I make this video because I found it just fascinating. I think it's it's a really good tool right now to generate really great content, especially if you use the Notebook LM just to create those podcasts. So everything is linked in the description. Let me know what you think of this. I will see you next time.